take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Procedure. Go to Control Panel. View Network Status and Tasks under Network and Internet. Select Ethernet or Wi-Fi, highlighted in blue, whichever you are connected to. Click on Details in the window that pops up. Look to see if DHCP enabled says yes. Then close out of the screens. Take our lead. DHCP operations fall into four phases. Server discovery, IP lease offer, IP lease request, and IP lease acknowledgement. These stages are often abbreviated as DORA for discovery, offer, request, and acknowledgement. The DHCP operation begins with clients broadcasting a request. Let's help you make your mark. UDP, Section 4.1 of RFC 2131, RFC 2131, specifies that DHCP uses UDP as its transport protocol. DHCP messages from a client to a server are sent to the DHCP server port 67, and DHCP messages from a server to a client are sent to the DHCP client port 68. Let's help you make your mark. So, in short, for us Windows amateurs, the DHCP hostname is what is termed full computer name on the computer name tab of my computer properties. At least, that's the name that was shown when I executed hostname in a command window. Let's help you make your mark. Find your current IP address and whether it is static or dynamic. Open Windows Start menu, select Run, type, Command and click OK. At the blinking cursor, type, IP config, all and press Enter. Look for these entries near the end of the list, DHCP enabled. To exit, at the blinking cursor, type, exit and press Enter. Take our lead. How to fix DHCP errors. Run the Windows Network Troubleshooter. The easiest way to fix internet connection issues is by letting Windows automatically fix the internet settings. Check the DHCP adapter settings. Check the DHCP router settings. Contact IT support. Make your mark, take our lead. Determine IP address and static or dynamic. Open the command prompt by clicking start and search cmd then click cmd.x. Type IP config, all. Find the Ethernet local area connection listing. Find the IP address line and this will give you your currently assigned IP address. Next, look at the DHCP enabled line in the same section. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.